All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to get my Facebook fan page back, my business partner's page, page back, and um, I'm going to show you kind of everything I went through, okay? It's been one year, 17 days, um, and seven months, okay? So the original hack happened June 12th or 13th of 2023. I actually had made a Loom video then explaining to Facebook what happened. As you can see, um, I was using his email to log in. I couldn't log in. It was bringing up a different name because they had got in and changed the account, right? So this Lily Allen was on the account, okay? You can see right here, they want us to verify the identity, but we couldn't do it. After some time, the account did get disabled. However, because I am Chef Jabo's business partner, I actually had access to the business manager and I was able to log in and see that this person now had access to the account. So this is when kind of the extortion started. They wanted $2,000 and then understand this is the second person that had access to this account, okay? So we go through all of that and then I'm on Facebook and I'm looking at all of these videos, right? I'm looking at all of these Reddits and they mean well. I'm pretty sure that some of this stuff had worked you know, at some point, or it was just a result of them going through Facebook's process and they had done these things in the process and thought that that might've been the thing that actually was able to, to get them like reaching out to the attorney general or the uh, consumers agency uh, in your state. But a lot of these are just kind of clickbait videos. Okay. Um, what I will say is that there are multiple levels to getting your, uh, to, to the account being hacked. First, you have your Facebook account hacked, which is what you log into every single day. You have your page manager hacked. I'm sorry, your page hacked. And then you have your business manager hacked. Now, all of these, they require different disputes. Okay, so let's continue here. So I reached out to them. Uh, I forgot what day this was. Okay, um, so I did reach out to them here in the support. Okay, let them know that Lily Allen, let them know everything. Okay, I continue to talk to them here, add more information. Original January 13th. Oh, well, no, this was June 13th of uh, 2023. Just letting them know everything that did happen. Reached out to the uh, consumer reports, reached out to the attorney general, just giving them all the information because I couldn't get Facebook to move. And even at the beginning of this year, because uh, I basically, uh, me and Javaris really, we stopped working together for about. I don't know, maybe a year and a half. And um, and I came back and began January 1st of this year, just reaching out to him. And as you can see, here's 15 messages of us going back and forth and still not able to get this rectified. So I paid for the Meta Verified support and the Instagram account. And it took several um, attempts to get to somebody, right, who knew what they were doing, okay? Now, one thing that I will say is when you reach out to support, do one thing at a time. So if your Facebook account was hacked, just report a hacked problem. Do not give them the entire story. They get confused, okay? If it is a page hack, then give them just the information in regards to the page being hacked, okay? If it is a business manager hack, then give them the information related to that. Now, if it is all of them, do one at a time do the account, then do the page, then do the business manager. And I'm going to show you guys something here in just a second. So in one of these emails, they recommend that I reach out to the individuals who are now on the account. Now, one of the really cool things about this is that the Instagram account, right, right here, the Instagram was still connected to the business manager. All right. They didn't remove me because they could still run ads to it, which they did for a long time. Okay. And I couldn't get in removing it because I didn't have access to the business manager. They restrict the email. Okay. So we have all of these people that are on the account and I will show you them here in a second. I did remove them all except for this one. This is the one that I did reach out to. Okay. Boom. I asked him to restore the admin. He's kind of being a jerk and this email goes cold. So then what I did was I actually looked up this email and lo and behold, they had this Facebook fan page with this Vietnamese number. 
So I basically called him and I worked out a deal. Now, he gave me the full control, right, which I could see right here. He gave me back the full control of this account. The reason why I believe that he did this is because he was also sold this page, but he never had full access to it. So typically, you know, I could see the business manager and then I can see the people with access, but I couldn't see a business manager here. So I was like, what is going on here? This, 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 this must not be everything in here. Maybe it's too many people in here. So it's pushing everything that I don't know, but I knew that there was something wrong with what I was seeing. And before I go here, one of the things that validated that is I could tell that this URL was still here. It was just being masked. And I wanted to actually get it and put it on what was on the business manager at that time, but I had to put the boil master instead. However, when I restored, when the page was restored back to me, it reverted back to Chef J. Bo, which he actually has right now. So when I noticed this, I reached out to uh, Meta Verified Support. They wanted the ID. They wanted the some proof that you had access to the name. Um, so we had a DBA with the name Chef Javo. And then they wanted um, it to be given to them in a specific format. I'll give you an example of what they wanted. Okay. Um, they wanted something like, let's see here if I can pull it up for you. This right here. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I can, I can essentially show this, this to you. Uh, all right. So they wanted something that looks like this right here. Okay. It wants a letterhead, wants the address. Okay. Phone number, you know, all that good stuff. They wanted all of this. Okay. This is what they wanted. All right. They also wanted the DBA information and all of that. Okay. So all, they wanted it all in one document, right? So I had to go to a PDF combiner and combined all of it together, including the ID. Okay. So once that happened, this is now what the page looked like, right? They, so the reason why this happened is because this is this, he remade his account with the same email, right? That made the fan page. So when they restored it, it restored it back to its original settings with the original person who was in the page. Okay. So then I recognized that there was this person here, there was this person, and I could finally see the business manager, okay? So I reached back out to them again and let them know that this is, hey, this is what's going on now, and they took about four different, four days to respond, okay? So then what I did was I reached out, I had a bunch of emails from the higher up in, in Facebook, right? So let me... um. Let me come in here and do this. I had their webmaster, this gentleman here, Dave Mortensen, all high-level people. And I basically said, hey, reaching out in regards to this case, thank you for removing these initial people off my account. However, these people are still connected. And then I added the proof documentation again. And then this actually happened afterwards, but this is what it came back. They they had removed, I, I emailed them. I said, thank you. Cause now I'm the main person. And these two people are just like creators on the account. Okay. And then the business manager is gone. It's removed from the business manager. Okay. So then as you see here, this is the only thing that's left. The same thing with right here. This is the only thing that's left. I end up removing this one because I find out that's also a person that shouldn't be on the account as well. And then what it looks like today is this right here. All right, so that's that's what it took. Now, one thing that I will say is when you reach out to Meta Verified, you really need time because they take forever to respond back to you. So you actually have to sit there with your phone open while you're working, right? And um, you have to be able to get back to them, okay? Because after a while, they'll just go ahead and close out the chat. And this is the reason why people, they don't follow this process through is because there are people who are doing this. I mean, it, it, they... I think they're limited into what they can do, but you don't have time to be able to catch this and you don't get notifications whenever you get a message through the business verified. Okay. So, um, that's, that's also another thing. Um, so that's, that's all I have. 
uh, for this. Um, I am going to create a. I'm going to create. What do you call it? A school community that's going to be like nine dollars and ninety nine cents a month. So that that way I can kind of offer my time um, to people who are trying to get their account back and they can, uh, you know, send me the information and everything else like that. Let me know where they are so that that way I can give recommendations on what to do next. OK, um, because, again, it takes time. OK, and uh, sometimes, you, you know, you might be like one more message away from from getting all this stuff back. And I'll also give you all of the emails to the people at Facebook that I do have. And then I will, um, you know, give you the documentation that you're going to, that you're going to need. Okay. Um, and maybe even a template that where you can, you can use that, you know, to, to send it to them whenever they need it. But big takeaways, if it is a Facebook account and you're reaching out to MetaFerified, make sure you just, you're very specific on, then you're handling one thing at a time. Do not try to handle multiple things at a time because in your dispute letter or in your, in your um, page owner letter. You don't want to be including all of that information. You only want to be um, including one thing at one time. Okay, so I'll kind of help you guys through all of this. Um, again, I'm going to make it for $9.99, and then we'll go ahead and work through this process together. Thank you so much, and good luck.